More slicing and dicing of that State of the Union. We're joined by Dr. Michael Ondaatje, Senior Lecturer at the University of Newcastle and a Research Associate at the U.S. Studies Centre at the University of Sydney. Dr. Ondaatje, warm welcome to you. Let's get down to business. Let's talk tough on tax. It seemed to be that Obama made a lot of that in the speech, maybe at the expense of some of those foreign policy, uh, more woolly issues. What did you make of those tax remarks? Yeah, I think that... Uh Moving on the deficit and getting something done there is going to be absolutely imperative for securing Barack Obama's long-term legacy. Mm -hmm. So he did address that. He addressed it very pointedly, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, he talked about the need to close tax loopholes. In other words, to get the wealthiest Americans paying more, paying more, rather than actually cutting the deficit through massive spending cuts. Do you think he spent too much time talking about the deficit? I think someone worked out, he, he mentioned jobs 30 times, deficit 10 times, because it kind of accepts the premise that reducing that deficit is a big priori priority, but it's also going to be one of the toughest things to achieve. Oh, it's going to be, it's going to be really tough. And uh, he himself said at some point in the speech that reducing the deficit is not by, by itself an economic policy. Mm. Um, he might have pointed out, though, that the deficit grew uh, uh, most during the Reagan uh, and Bush administrations. He didn't point that out and I think that reflected a uh, concern to appear quite bipartisan and post-partisan in his language. Um, but was he really? Because then he had a big dig at the Republicans over this, uh, the debt ceiling that's still uh, an issue, a live one before both houses. Yeah. He hit them out of them at that uh, sequester crisis, he called it. So there was pulling no punches there. Right. There was a veneer. I think I'd call it a veneer of post-partisanship. But really there was a cattle prod uh, to Republicans to get with the program mm. uh, on, e on the economy, to get with the program on immigration and certainly to get with the program on guns and that was the most mm. rousing uh, part of his address I think without any doubt. Mm -hmm. Were there new fresh ideas as a second term president mm. for strengthening the job situation, um, addressing that, that major issue or was it just kind of motherhood statements, you know, inspiring hope where really there is little hope given the policies he talked about? Or what did you, what did yeah, you find I, I think that? the word workmanlike you know, acutely and, and accurately sums up what this address was about. It, it reached its climax certainly at the end with the rhetoric on guns. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that Barack Obama was very concerned to lay out the achievements of his administration uh, on the economic front. 28 months of, of economic growth, yeah. uh, 6 million new jobs created under his presidency. Uh, and to make the case that to grow the economy in the future, uh, the burden should not be something that is borne by middle-income Americans yeah. but by the wealthy. And I think in that sense it, it was uh, normal, sort of centrist, democratic, State of the Union stuff. Yeah. Alright, let's feed all that into immigration as well. There was a kind of a sop to Republicans, there was a push on border security. Does that get them over the line? But importantly, does it actually spell further job creation by bringing in a lot of people who would have been exiting as soon as they got their MBAs, for instance. No green card stapled uh, to right. that That's uh, right. entrance, is there? I actually thought that was a critical moment of, this, of the address as well. Um, I think they're going to get immigration reform in the United States coming out of this address. I think... What does it mean practically when you say reform? What will that mean? That How means that, that there's going to be a pathway to citizenship for the 11 million mostly Hispanic illegal immigrants who are currently in the United States. Mm. Uh, the proposal that Obama has put forward is something I think that most Republicans, not all certainly, but most Republicans uh, could live with. Uh, I think Marco Rubio in his uh, reply tonight to Barack Obama's State of the Union address was preparing to enunciate a similar kind of policy. Mm -hmm. The Republicans, if they don't act and don't come to the party on this, are going to lose the Hispanic vote for a very long time, I think. Michael, uh, soundly put, thanks for wrapping that My business side of, of that side of the union, really valuable. My pleasure.